hey guys this video will be on this beautiful fall nail set i wanted to use the clear nail tips that i got and i wanted to show you them to you so first this is the realistic hand that i have i did buy it from ebay about for twenty dollars about six seven years ago so it's been a long time and these are the nail tips that i came with they're just your basic brown nail tips that most of these type of um hands come with you can purchase that from amazon from ebay from so many different stores nowadays and these are the ones that i ordered from ebay these clear and supposed to be clear nail tips from ebay there are only two sizes one for the thumb and four of the same size for the rest of the fingers i purchased this specific one from ebay about two years ago i can no longer find the seller or i cannot find this specific brand of tips anywhere i did see some at walmart online and when i purchased them they were white and i returned them so and they said they were clear so these are identical the same type of material the same thickness they are a little bit more hard to work with when you cut them down and file down and try to stick your nail tip to them so that is a pain in the butt i did love them better than the brown ones but you guys i researched research and i finally found these on aliexpress it did take about a month and a half to get here but they're worth every single minute they are amazing i'm so glad i bought them i did purchase two other types one of the sellers never sent it and the other one hasn't arrived here but these are amazing look at the difference between this clear and that clear this clear is crystal clear it is beautiful it's a little bit thinner than the other ones and it is not the same material this one is so easy to cut with the nail clippers it's so easy to file it doesn't leave that residue and it doesn't leave oh, how do i explain if you've used the brown tips you understand what i'm saying it doesn't leave that scratchiness on the nail tip or anything like that i'm showing you here how easily these cut off just like nails they are thinner than the brown nail tips but not super thin and look it it doesn't even leave any kind of residue or anything and it files off like butter i'm showing you this because i am gonna just jump into doing the base for the nail tips but these are amazing i'll leave the link down below you can definitely pause this video to get them but just keep watching so you can see them in the works i will use a, a nail tips on one of them just so you guys can see how well they adhere and i will do forms which is what i normally do using this type of hand and i will use forms to complete it now the first thing i always always do with these kind of nail tips is i remove that cuticle like that's in these nail tips at least that's what they say it is but it just it's bulky it adds space to the nail and i want it completely flat so i simply remove all of it the next thing is i make sure i file the top really really rough because i want to be able to have the glue and the nail tip adhere very well and i apply the nail tip i do hold it on for quite a bit maybe 10 to 15 seconds and then i just add another nail tip to extend it you don't have to do that but i'm doing really long nails here so i did end up adding a second tip here i'm using nail forms i'm just measuring the nail form to the nail tip so that the length does match what i'm trying to do and i do pile on two nail forms one on top of the other for that extra long nail tip because i just haven't had the time to purchase extra long nail tips if you do have any that are really really long nail tip forms please link them down below let me know i will be using mia secrets clear acrylic as well as their liquid monomer and i'm just gonna build a base this is just how i do forms um i want to make sure I, I don't have it be too liquidy so the beads not too wet i don't know why i said liquidy um so that the beads not too wet so i keep drying my brush on the paper towel to remove any excess liquid and i just do a very thin form for the nails that i'm planning to add 3dr or encapsulate um for this one specifically this one's gonna be a whole clear nail because i'm gonna polish this one so i do just do a base and when i complete the other nails i do go back and then build an apex and complete the nail i don't realize what i what design i'm gonna do until i just start doing it so that's when i realize you know what i'm gonna make this one a solid color because i plan on using foils and some foil gel so i just work around i did fast forward because i do take my sweet time doing nails um but i extend it to the length of the nail tips which is double nail tips and the nail tips are from glitter planet uk um they're amazing they're pre-pinched nail tips uh for the form here i just make sure i really squeeze it tight before i do the nails uh, for this nail i haven't done any acrylic on it the first thing i'm going to be doing is using these 3d fall leaf stickers that i got i think these were sent to me by models one i don't really remember it's been a while since last year um but their stickers are very 3d i've also seen these stickers and on the um, 
AliExpress, so I will link that one down below. They are a little bit pricier compared to AliExpress prices, around two to three dollars per just a little square of them. But the detail in the stickers are amazing. I love how they're 3D. They're very bulky, very, I wouldn't say bulky, they're very thick. So they look like they're actually popping out. So it's really nice. And I take forever doing these type of nails because I keep changing the design, changing where I want certain things. So you will see that happen. Um, but I'm gonna do this nail clear with the fall nails as well as the pinky nail will be clear with the fall nails but this one is using nail tips and the pinky will be with a thin base layer of acrylic and then using the nail the stickers so after i do that i'm just using some mylar paper that has been cut really really small um very chunky and i'm just applying it in between the gaps so when the finger moves the reflection of the mylar is the mylar glitter will be really really pretty um, I try to stick to fall colors, the green, the orange, the yellows, and some of the red. Um, I was going to put some gold in there, but I figured no, not today. <laughs> I tend to always throw gold on nails, but that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I will also be encapsulating that nail as well as the pinky. For here is where I'm going to do the ombre. I always start off with the darkest color, um, and I always do that normally at the tip. And I just press it down with the belly of the brush and that helps me spread it out and then i just grab more monomer or if i have enough liquid and then i just pull upwards i go back in my monomer like you see it just helps when i go back in there and i just spread it upwards to do the fade just so that it's a little bit easier to blend when i apply the previous the next color above and the color i'm using is popsicle from glam and glitz the orange and then the pink is mia secrets cover pink one of my favorite cover pinks to do any type of ombre nails with uh, you can get that from amazon i will link my amazon li um, list of products down below it's just a link where you click on it and it shows all the products i personally use and love with nails home and any other stuff and i have all the nail stuff in there that i have used and repurchased over and over and you can just tell how easily and amazing this blends it blends so so pretty um, I do encapsulate this one just to get a nice apex and to give it strength. You don't have to. You can always build the colors up themselves, but I just felt it was easier to just fully encapsulate it and build with clear. So here I was done already putting the Mylar glitter, and I'm just encapsulating this nail as well as, like I said, the other fall leaf nail and the ombre. I don't encapsulate the index fingernail because that one's just full clear that one I just build it up to be a clear nail and as soon as all the nails are dry I go in with my file this file is from eNail Couture it is the double-sided uh, strip on file you can strip off the sides and then add new file strips to them it works really good um, I still miss my 80 grit files I feel like the files with the board on them tend to be a lot sharper and last longer that's something i did notice here i'm using models one nail polish i'll link it down below this is just such a beautiful autumn color um it is very very th like it's thick but it's not overwhelming and it fully covers with one coat and i'm also using my foil gel this is from daily charm it's the only gel i use to do my foils and i'm just doing a very thin layer i did cure the models one gel polish one coat for 30 seconds in the lamp and then i apply this foil gel and i cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds and then i apply my foil as you can tell i'm just very lightly tapping it in wherever i want the color to grab um, this technique is really awesome when you use a black base polish it looks super super cool i do have a video where i do use a black base for like a halloween nail um but this is really pretty i felt like it um went along with the rest of the designs it wasn't too crazy much but it went along very well you can add as much or as little of this as you, you want i just wanted it to have those fall colors and to go together very well um, also after I finish this I will go in with my top coat this is from Eno Couture it is the extreme shine the extreme shiny top coat and I fully cover them and this is the outcome of the nails I really hope you guys like them I hope you guys buy these tips you need them if you're doing nails even for practice they are so worth it and I already stocked up because I know you guys will sell them out so go ahead and buy them guys thanks for watching see you on my next video